One of the aspects of this book that I find so powerful is that it that 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 it, it, it is what you say, a secret history. He was a secret historian. It's a fantastic title. And um, it's also recovering cultural memory. It's, it's American cultural memory. It's modernist cultural memory. It's uh, gay and lesbian, you know, I always say bacon, lettuce, and tomato <laughs> memory. Um, uh, and, um, you know, it, if one has gone through life, you know, I felt this also when I read James Lord's memoir. You know, you go through life and you learn about Gertrude and Alice and all the lovely young men who would come and visit them. And, you know, you don't, you know, you get these little edges. Uh, suddenly all your gay male friends in the 1970s are wearing leather. I mean, and they won't tell you what it means. They just kind of stride around in it. So, and there are all those places down near the river. And it's like, right. but there's something so um, um, wonderful about the, the, the tone of this book and the kind of um, completeness of it, you know. Uh, and I'm, I'm curious how you sort of, came to the tone and how you, and were you conscious that you were sort of writing history, you know, writing into lost cultural memory that... Yeah, and actually I think Sam led the dance there because as wild and scandalous as his life can be seen, uh, there's an incredible core of integrity in that lifelong testimony of his sexual experience. Mm -hmm. You respond either with rage and disgust or with uh, a belief that sometime, somewhere in the future, things are going to change and people are going to realize that they're wrong. So right. I think Sam, basically, Sam realized that he had been born in the wrong time, but he realized also that the feelings and um, awarenesses that he had were right. And he got to them early through Havelock Ellis. He befriended Kinsey. He was in the right company to know that um, uh, his truth was a truth that would endure. And uh, when you're faced with that kind of integrity, uh, despite the sensational nature of sexuality itself, uh, I chose at least to respond with equal integrity. And also, I wanted a lot of questions answered about, about what, it is, what it is to be gay. There is no primer on how do you grow up gay in America. One consolation that Sam had at the end of his life was that there was no opportunity that he ever passed by because he was too timid and too <laughs> afraid or right. too worried about what other people would think of him. Right. You know, um, they say that the, the things you regret most in life are the opportunities you had that you let pass you by. And Sam, Sam jumped. You know, he jumped for that brass ring over and over and over again. And that's, that kind of chutzpah is something that I'm amazed by. And I think it was something that also that Kinsey adored because it did not come easily to him either. He was a very circumspect, careful, academician who has really floundered for many years vis-a-vis uh, -vis his sexual uh, identity. Right. And to come across Sam, who had been so set in his ways from such a very early moment, and so uh, 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 in a sense comfortable within his own skin in a way that so many weren't, um, there's something, if not heroic, then singular about it. Well, and I go for the heroic too. <laughs> I, I think, want, yeah, I would like to think of him as a hero.